Hi guys, I am back in my Hanoi flat and today I'm going to be doing a flat tour. Basically, there are a couple of things that's still in the works. I'll explain along the way, but um, I came back today and I have a free day and I was like, you know what? I might as well just film this because I've been wanting to film it and then I can always add in clips if I um, get anything new done. So quick backstory just in case anyone doesn't know. Um, my parents are based in Vietnam. I'm not Vietnamese originally, I'm Taiwanese, but we, well I grew up here. And since my parents are still running their businesses here, um, they're just going to be based, we just know they're going to be based here for quite some time. So um, my parents let me have my own apartment here because whenever I come back, I'm always staying in like different places every time I'm back because actually they renovated my room and they're in like at home to be their home gym. So I actually don't have a bedroom in <laughs> my parents' place anymore. Um, this apartment was done last year. Um, it got renovated. My mom, her um, team renovated and redid my entire apartment and it's looking really, really good. I love it here. I always get so many compliments on my Instagram snap because I Instagram snap my place back here a lot, especially when I'm working on things. And I get a lot of good feedback from people and I'm just like really, I don't know, I just, I love this place so much and I wish I could bring this with me to London, but alas, it's not gonna happen. So my mom basically designed my entire apartment, most of the furniture. Her company is an interior company. Um, slash they do like renovations and stuff. So I'm very lucky I got to choose a lot of things like make a lot of decisions down to like the doorknobs and like Fabrics used on the cushion like literally everything I got to have a say in and yeah, so this place is pretty much customized um, For me and the way I like it even my door is a different color door than like the rest the rest of the building Which I find very special <laughs> and here is my front door and the master switches for the light. From the door, if you walk in, this is the first thing that you see. I'm gonna start with this section first. So this is my little, you know, putting on, taking off shoe place, because it's right by the door, obviously. The only thing I'm changing in this section is this pot plant. I plan to get like a taller pot plant thingy and have the plant kind of more up a higher here. I've already found one, um, but it's gonna be delivered soon, hopefully. Yay, guys, my pot came for this plant. I need to feel like moving around a little bit, but I really like how it looks now with um, my entry hallway. I needed that level up, because before um, the plant was on the floor, but I think this looks a lot better. And then on this side, I have another little plant, an elephant, and a crystal. So my mom made all the furniture, this um, little bench here, that bench, and the mirror she made, and but the pillows I bought from Wolf and & Badger. And then you can see from the mirror on the other side, I got these massive frames made. I got two. It's I can't even get like the full thing in the shot, but they're really, really big if you compare it to the door. That's the main door. And what I did was I got them to make a frame with the same um, wall paper as my actual wall. So it didn't look like it was like a whole new, I don't know, I, I don't want it to look too busy either because I have so many different things going on inside. So this just is like a bunch of random artworks from friends um, and travels and posters that I like, etc. And elephants, cause you know, elephants. And this is um, my 20, 17 travels i believe um these are just pictures from my trips during 2017. maybe maybe end of 2016 as well i can't exactly remember but yeah there you go and i've like labeled it and everything it's kind of cute so that is my hallway on that side then on this side here this is probably like the least aesthetically pleasing through my eyes right now just because it's not filled up and it looks like such a mess but believe me i have elephants to fill up this entire thing um they're just left in london right now so half my elephant collection is actually here and the other half is in london um i've started leaving elephants here like slowly whenever i have a chance to come back i bring some with me because I just like need them all to be together, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are loads. And a lot of them are Christmas presents from my girlfriends as well. So 
yeah right now it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing it's like empty on this full as heck on those and just looking weird um, I'm working on it <laughs> and in here I'm a true Asian household I've got slippers because we use slippers when we are inside <laughs> and not normal walking shoes from the outside and then in here I have more elephants because I'm a crazy elephant lady so this is actually my bedroom I'm gonna leave that for last because that's like the creme de la creme right so we're gonna go straight down my hallway it's quite a long hallway which I really really like and this is um, a beautiful piece of artwork that my mom bought for me um, it's funny because when she designed this place she had these three along this wall um, horizontally and I was like, nah, I'm not wasting that space for this. No offense, I love this mom, but <laughs> this is not gonna take my entire hallway wall. So I ended up putting it vertically because I felt like it looked like a waterfall, which I preferred more than the horizontal way. Um, anyway, I just really like it here because it just looks nice on that wall. And then this is my console. Um, I'm going to show you guys this little guy here. That's an elephant stand. How freaking cute. I love this guy so much. And this plant. I have a couple plants here. These are all real plants. And then a candle. Some decorative stuff. And another plant. And a big daddy plant here. Um, and in here I have like various things. I've got like a first aid kit. This is where I keep um, a box of photographs. Old photographs. And a box of letters. So here is the living room. I've just, um, I'm just drawing the curtains at the moment. It is just an electronic switch on that side of the wall. Um, but this is my living room. Again, everything is made from my mom. If I didn't mention it, wait. If I forgot to mention, my, ma my mom made that in the mirror. Everything else was bought. This is a carpet from my mom's office as well. And here, back to the living room, my mom made all the furniture that you see here. Um, I love my sofa, it's really, really cute. I chose these cushions, so I love these really beautiful corals. This is from TK Maxx from London. And if you look at like the detailing on my sofa, I love these studs as well. Really, really cute. And then here I have um, a massive lotus flower. This is real, it's very beautiful. And then my two little side chairs. This is just like a TV um, channel list thing. But yeah, I chose this chair. Um, this used to be like just a white chair I think my mom chose, but I switched it out for this black and white one because I think it just like made um, the colors balance more, I feel like. The white was just like too white or too like pale for my liking. And then back to the coffee table, I just have some of my favorite magazines and books underneath. Um, a candle, and this is just a, like a fake coral from a shop here in Vietnam. Um, Jonathan Adler coasters, I love those. And then this faces the TV, and there's my TV. So my TV is basically like just floating in the middle of the room. I absolutely love this black marble thing, looks so cool. And then on this side here, I've got two little yellow chairs um, with this really sweet table. So a really cute um, detail is this shape table is on the pillows as well. And you'll see it throughout my flat a little bit because I just like that shape a lot. So I got a lot of things made with that shape. It's a Christmas um, throw, which I haven't put away yet, but I'll just leave it there for now. Got some pictures of me and some friends and one of my favorite plants, another gorgeous plant here. So next to the yellow chairs, I have this wall, which I love. It's one of my favorite parts of my apartment. This mirror, I designed it and got it made for my mom as well. Um, so yeah, I really like it. <laughs> these are two of my newest plants. I bought these like a couple days ago. I just felt like I needed more plants here. <laughs> um, this is a London map. Thing that I got a lot of my friends to sign, my friends in London, to bring back here. Um, they signed it on my birthday, basically. Another gorgeous plant, um, some little knickknacks, another Jonathan Adler set of um, coasters, it's like of a weed leaf. Another elephant, of course, and a little froggy, that's cute. 
And then here are two more plants. This is fake. That's a fake plant. <laughs> These are real. And I have this gorgeous poster from Poster Lounge behind. And then this I got in like a garage sale in London. It's, they're just butterflies. And then another elephant and some books. So that's this side. And then you turn over to that side. And all we really have, which this is blocking, is a little bar table, which I really like. Um, yeah, my mom just really went ham on like sitting like sitting spaces in my flat, which I mean she knows I like to entertain so I guess that's why. But I think these are really sweet little stools. Um, I do have an ashtray here for people who do smoke cigarettes. I do not, um, at least not anymore. And I just have one of my really pretty um, Frida Kahlo uh, matches there and then this really really amazing elephant um, pot from Tiki Max again and these flowers are from Holland these tulips so I'm not gonna go outside but this is my one of my balconies this is my biggest balcony actually and it faces the gorgeous lake and I get gorgeous sunset views from here and this side I have two of my eggs so these are egg chairs basically which swing obviously and then I have a little plant there as well so this outdoor Bit is kind of where I still need to work on. I still feel like I need, it needs more plants and some color, but you know, doesn't matter, we'll see. Fun fact, the tiles on the floor outside are the most expensive tiles out of the entire apartment, um, which I think is really funny because my mom decided to put it outside. It's actually not supposed to be an outside tile, but my mom kind of made that happen anyway. So yeah, <laughs> I think it looks gorgeous outside. Um, and this is my little Matt from Urban Outfitters, I believe. So next to the bar table there is this section here. Again, one of my favorite sections of my flat because I love playing my vinyl. Um, so I bought this in Vietnam in like a shop here, which I don't remember where, I just was brought to it. <laughs> and the shelf unit itself, um, I designed it, hence it fits my speakers extremely perfectly <laughs> um, yeah I designed it and my mom's office or my mom's company made it and I brought these birdies back or these stalks back from London from TK Maxx and then another gorgeous plant this is one of my favorite plants and I think it looks so good here um, this is a tray of corals and treasures that I brought back from my trips to um, Kat Ba and Nha Chang which is um, in Vietnam. And this is another piece of artwork my mom bought for me from a wall. It kind of serves as two purposes. One is artwork and the other is light. There are light inside these little fishies. So yeah, it's like kind of a little pond inspired section here. <laughs> and then moving on to the left of this place is the kitchen and dining area. So this is my dining area. Um, again, I'll be repeating myself a lot, but yeah, Stokes Interior, Stokes Interior, Mom made it, Mom made it. The cushions are from um, Wolf and Badger. I bought a lot of cushions from Wolf and Badger online. And then some of these cushions, like those two in the middle, my mom made. This bothers me because it used to be a yellow, um, yellow orchid here, but I think they changed it around sometimes um, depending on, you know, what's available and this pink one I mean it's gorgeous but I would just prefer yellow so there's that and then just some little knickknacks from anthropology that's a honey pot and a plant at the back my favorite part of this area are my lights this one and that one there they're really really gorgeous lights and if you come closely these are all crystals it's like really really pretty without being too tacky which I was like worried about and this is a really pretty lamp here as well that my mom chose out for me and then the wall right across my dining table I got this made for my elephant parade elephants this is only half of them the other half is in London but I need to display my elephants <laughs> we'll get back to that later 
So here I'm going to be adding a bar cart, which I'm currently getting made. So it's going to come in, in the next five days, which I'm really excited about. And then here is my kitchen. So my bar cart came. It's super simple, but um, it's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want anything too much here because my kitchen's pretty simple already. Um, plus it's like across from that. So there's a little bit of color going on. So I just wanted to keep this a bit simple. So far I got a, um, a thing to put either mocktails or juices in. Most likely more juices because I drink more juice than anything else. But anyway, so that's that. Um, a whiskey bottle, but I'm gonna go steal some whiskey from my parents or <laughs> buy some. But anyway, <laughs> for now there's um, just a bunch of glasses. I got these today as well, which I really like. They're really cute. Um, an elephant, I moved that over here. And then I have these, the bottom, this little skull and um, martini glasses. So my kitchen isn't really like homey feeling at all. Um, I don't cook and I'm just really not motivated in the kitchen. Um, so you'll see it's quite clean. It doesn't look like it's been used. But I promise you I have used it, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> but hence why I have a massive frame here that says this kitchen is for dancing because it is. It's, I do more dancing here than I do cooking, like actually. <laughs> so on this side I have another big plant and another balcony which we'll get to in a second. And on this side I've got my water and then these are drinking glasses. I'm very picky with my drinking glasses. I love these ones. They're, I think they're more wine glasses than anything but um, at least that's what they were called. But I use them for water. And these are two Fiorucci ones with a pretty and a skull thing. Um, this is water to bring to my bedroom, empty bottles, and then up here I've got paper towel and I have a little thing that says I enjoy long romantic walks through the fridge. <laughs> I've got my stove and you'll notice that there's nothing above it like the ventilating system thing that you know sucks up all the steam. It's because it's right here, this comes up, but I'm not going to bother <laughs> with that right now. Um, so I won't show you all the cabinets, but this one holds my serving stuff or my table stuff. So I have a Christmas section, Halloween section, and then everyday section. This matches my cushion on my dining table here. So again, from Wolf and Badger. Um, I've got my popcorn things, some martini glasses, a massive bowl, more drinking glasses, wine glasses, and coffee cups. <clears throat> I really like these coffee cups, very pretty. And then I have my freezer here, microwave, oven, another storage thing. I think this just has like, so, like the very few sauce that I have and more serving stuff. <laughs> my fridge is on this side. It's very confusing. People are like, where the heck's your fridge? Yeah, it's in here. Um, I have a snack section and like dried food section. And then in here I have tea and teapots and Tupperware. Oh, and rice down there. <laughs> and then very important, the most important thing in my kitchen really is, um, oh, well this, the rice cooker and the coffee machine with my lao, but we don't drink from that. Um, we don't use those pods. And I have this like weird little guy up here. And this is actually like a really gorgeous Hermes um, piece of um, home decor, but I kind of dropped it a couple times, which is bad, but I mean, it's still, it's fine. It's fine. It's gorgeous. Just, just chills there. <laughs> My mom bought me that a while ago, quite a long time ago, actually. Here is the view from my kitchen. I have a, this is the balcony that leads to that balcony over here. I have a chili plant outside right there which is looking very lonely, but I'm definitely going to be adding more plants outside, especially along this wall, maybe some banana leaves, um, and then a, a bench of some sort. Anyway, back into the kitchen. Um, I have this fake flower, which is annoying. If, if I'm living here for a longer period of time, I definitely would want to like buy real flowers to put here, but because I'm away for like you know, most of the time. I kind of just keep fake flowers there. But I have this, this is another serving thing. Um, this is by that brand LSE, I think, yeah. And you just kind of like, they're like, it's like a cupcake tray and you open it up. So here is a coffee pot that I do use and then a pot of um, candy cane and gummy bears. Um, 
Above are these paintings that my mom kept. These um, are painted by yours truly. Yep, quite the artist. <laughs> I must have done these when I was like four years old and my mom framed them and kept them all these years and I decided to hang it up because I like them. They look pretty cool. And I still draw my son like that. <laughs> kidding anyway um yeah and here's the sink if i didn't share that it's a nice deep sink i like that and here are two bar stools to sit around the table um or the island in case you want to like chat or whatever or sometimes i eat here if i'm just like having a quick meal there are storage spaces behind um like extra paper towels and extra coffee and stuff so yeah so yeah, my mom also did the kitchen. She did the stool, she did that, everything. <laughs> and then I said I would come back here. This was probably the most boring room, but necessary. It is my laundry room. So a massive sink, two laundry things, a drying thing. And this is pretty much more my storage than anything else. Um, as you can see, I have Christmas pills in here. So um, I think the bottom ones are all the three bottom ones here are all filled with clothes that I don't wear anymore, but still want to keep. Um, Christmas things, that's probably clothes. I have a Halloween box somewhere as well, more Christmas things. And then my Christmas trees <laughs> and some ornaments. Yeah, this is just a hot mess. Oh yeah, so the back of this, so my TV's on the other side. And then on this side, um, my mom just kind of gave me little places to decorate some stuff. So I have pictures of family. I've got my grandma on my Taiwanese side, grandparents on my Australian side, um, pictures of me and my sister, me and Mace, me and my parents are there, and then um, just some old photos in Thailand. So from that wall, Going in this way, my console table, my hallway, we all remember where we are, yep, okay. Going through here, I've got a collage of me and my friends, basically, and my mom and my parents, whoever. And then, that's kind of creepy, I don't know where to put that yet, that's just kind of randomly there, I don't know what to do with it. Don't want to throw it away either, but I don't really like it anymore, so um, it's just there for now. And that's just like a little collage that I made that I liked as well. I just kept it there for now. But here is my bookshelf. Um, I chose for it to be in here, so I wanted to fill up this entire space as much as possible without feeling too, you know, I didn't want it to be like right to the edge, but it's like perfectly fits in here. Um, and yeah, these are all my, so my yearbooks like fashion ebooks, magazines, more elephants because you know I don't have enough. These are like some of my favorite stuffed animals though. <laughs> um, and then more books up there. So let's do the store first, the one next to the collage of my friends. This is the guest bathroom. The tiles are crazy, I know, I love it. My mom chose the tiles out for me and she couldn't have done a better job because I'm obsessed with this. Um, and I feel bad because they had to, the, the builders had to place them so that they like work out and look good because these are all separate tiles. Each one of these are separate. So here we have the shower, a guest shower. This, um, this little guy has been with me for a long, long, long time. So it's kind of just sentimental. And then the toilet and an elephant painting and a little gnome there. Cause of course, don't know why, but I've got these really cute candles from um, TK Maxx that just like to add the pop of color. Um, another plant here with these elephant guys. Oh, it's, like an, it's actually like an elephant table, which I really like. A Miranda mirror. <laughs> Um, the sink and then this side has the guest towels, another plant, more elephants and shells that I've collected over the years. And there's more shells in there and like coral. I like to bring back like things from the beach that I find. <laughs> this room next to the scary mannequin is the guest bedroom. So I've had a couple guests here already which I am really excited about. <laughs> 
So here is a collection of cushions, all the colorful ones um, I got made for my mom and the rest were bought, well the white one was bought basically. On both sides we have the same kind of situation, same um, side table and a lamp for my mom's place as well. I have an elephant poster here. I love that one. And then on this side I have this plant, which I love this plant a lot. And it's grown up so nicely. And this is a painting that my mom painted for me when I was younger. And then a little, a little elephant tray for trinkets. A sitting area. And then this is a painting my mom bought for me a while ago. And this has been in a couple of my rooms with me too. I really like this painting. Um, there is a balcony out here. A very thin one and it just kind of connects to the big main balcony that I shared um, on the other side with the egg chairs. This is a mirror from my old flat that I don't want to get rid of so I was thinking of hanging it up here but I just haven't decided so I've left it there. This is storage space, another list of channels for my guest. I've got a boomerang from I believe my aunt and uncle. Um, this is a bowl that I made in a high school picture and that usually goes here but I just kept that there and these are just kind of random trinkets I've bought um, during my travels here and there and then more pictures and then there's a TV it's where I store my suitcases but it's overflowing so now they're here as well and then actually that wall is empty I'm trying to look for a massive big painting like a really cool painting or print not sure when or where I'll find that but on this side, this is a painting that I did of six of my closest friends when I was back in high school. Um, yeah, unfortunately we don't all still talk, but some of, some, of, some of them I still keep in touch with. But yeah, I still love this painting a lot, so I've just kept it there. The no eyes makes it creepy, I realize, but I don't know, I just, that's the way I wanted it. <laughs> um, hopefully my guests don't mind. The guests that have stayed haven't complained, so we're good. All right, now we're gonna go back to the creme de la creme of this apartment. This beautiful door is the door to my master bedroom. So here is my bedroom. The main thing obviously is my bed. Ooh, let me turn this light on so it's like even. Um, these lamps are from my mom's and the backboard and the bed itself is from my mom's. This, um, sheet situation, this bed set. It's actually from um, a brand that I bought in Harrods. I don't remember yet, but it was a little bit pricey. Thankfully, my mom gifted it to me because I would never spend that much money on a bed sheet, but thanks, mom. Um, I have on both sides these little mini sheep rugs. Um, on this side is the side that I usually sleep on, so I have my um, glasses. This is just a drink that I just really like the, the bottle. It looked really pretty. Um, and a hand cream and a bunch of cords. And then across from my bed is my television. Um, I think my mom had this idea of me putting my elephants here as well. But I'll get there. Don't worry, guys. I have enough. <laughs> On this side, I have this really vain picture of me. <laughs> and then um, this Jonathan Adler thing, which I love. Anyways, how do I do this? My room is kind of like hard to share because there's like a lot to it. Okay, so this is my desk area right by my door. And um, now you can see a bit of the, the piles of messes that I've been creating. They're not mess, it's just my piles. So my desk is, I know I try to keep it like clean with nothing on the table, but I'm just not that kind of person. I always just end up having piles of crap on my table. Um, but the, this is supposed to be here. So this is um, some more crystals and Lucky Charms. This, my dad gave that to me um, from the fortune teller that, who gave that to him. Um, I've got my mini plant and then just stuff that I'm using. Um, this is another Jonathan Adler piece, which I really like. So next to the dream catcher, we have my entire clothing closet, which looks like this. I'm not going to go into detail with my closet here in this video because I'm going to make a separate video talking about my closet and um, my London closet as well. So yeah, again, my mom's company did everything in here, including this beautiful light again, 
with these gorgeous crystals. So pretty. Um, and in here, there's like sections for everything. Again, I'll go through them more in detail in a different video. But yeah, and then I have these two white stools here that I end up throwing piles and piles of clothes I try on. on. <laughs> so yeah, that's a quick view of my closet. Here's a gorgeous picture of my mom. This is her. The glare is like annoying, but that is her. She's stunning, isn't she? Um, and then next to my closet, and my bed is there, by the way, is this little section here. Um, the bench is for my mom. I bought the cushion in TK Maxx. Another gorgeous plant. I love this plant so much. It's nice and like, I don't know, it just brings this room to life, honestly. And this is supposed to be like, I guess like a table runner, if anything, but I put it on the floor because I like it next to my bench. And this is was... Um, and actually my mom made this. She used to be a patchwork teacher, so she made that and I love it. Got my speakers here and my computers. And then above that I have more photos of my mom when she was modeling back in the day. So here I have another balcony. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. But yeah, so here is a really tiny balcony. Um, you can walk outside, but I don't usually come out here. And then... Right, so here's a quick overview of the entire room. And then in here, the last room that I'm going to share with you guys, and it is the master ensuite. So starting from here, I have a little thing, rack of towels, hand towels. This is a plant that I've hung there. And then here are some blinds. On that side, I have a really pretty wall, and I bought this little Sandy Toes and Salty Kisses from Bali, I believe, or Gili. Some gorgeous shells, and these two things, um, these like matryoshka dolls I've had for ages. Um, they've been with me everywhere. Um, so let me show you a view of my bathtub. So here is my bathtub. That is not like a bottle of like alcohol or anything. That's actually, my mom actually put green tea in there to take um, baths with because green tea is like supposed to be good for your skin and I've been getting allergies lately. So I've been taking like green tea baths. So yeah, that's a bottle of green tea. <laughs> and actually I think in the bathtub, these are the like socks with like green tea leaves inside. It looks kind of ugly and odd, but anyway. Um, so this is my gorgeous vintage inspired bathtub my mom bought for me and yeah So she ordered this and oh my goodness. It's like my dream. I love this bathtub so much. It's gorgeous. It's got like gold Designs on it So pretty and then I got this rug from Harrods my mom made that table so these are flowers I got from Singapore and some gorgeous leaves. I really liked it. Um, I want to put like sand or some sort of like thing in there because it kind of looks odd it being empty, but oh well. My laundry basket. On this side I have kind of storage unit thing. I want to get another plant with leaves that hang out down. So that's something else I'm looking out for. I have another thing here that says mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Perfume that I don't use, um, so I brought them back here to just like keep so I have perfume here whenever I come visit. Some bath products. And these are just like storage units for like extra stuff. And extra towels. And extra body wash, etc. And then here's the shower. Again with the clean AF sign, that's just like some more products. <laughs> the toilet and um, another poster from poster lounge I thought it was very fitting in my bathroom and this is a really pretty little like toilet lamp it's really really sweet <laughs> and then my sink area so this is this looks a bit messy especially with like so much stuff out but that's just kind of like my makeup removing station brush teeth stuff some flamingos more fake leaves these are fake this is a real plant though. And then on this side is my makeup station. So I have a little chair here. I have a little mirror because I don't know, I, I can never like put my makeup on like using the big mirror. I have to like lean in so much. So I just have like a small mirror so I can pull in. 
Um, these are some gorgeous Hermes towelettes. And then over here is a makeup storage unit that I got custom made. Um, I wanted like massive drawers um, and deep drawers basically. So we kind of measured it all out. These ones have little dividers in them. So yeah, some have dividers, some don't, just depending on what I wanted. But yeah, this is just like big enough for like my entire makeup collection, which isn't here because most of my makeup is in London. Um, this is stuff that I recently bought, so that's why there's a lot. But yeah, this is pretty much everything in here is like I bought back from London because I don't really leave makeup here because obviously I use it. <laughs> and yeah. I have these two are from Anthropology, I believe. No, from ASOS. These two are from ASOS. I just like them for brush holders. So yeah, another overview of my bathroom. So I was literally about to walk back out to my living room to like set the camera down and do like a goodbye thing. And then walked past and realized I didn't share this room. What the heck? This is actually my most favorite room in the entire flat, actually, because it holds all my favorite things. Although this is my favorite room, it is also one of the more emptier rooms of the entire flat just because most of my things are in London so they're not here and so yeah so the room looks, looks a bit empty but I can you know I know my stuff and I can imagine it all laid out. I don't know when that will ever happen because now I live in London and my stuff will stay there most likely but I tend to bring stuff back slowly so and again like my closet I'm gonna be doing a um, closet video like dedicated to my closet so more in detail on that and this space so this is just gonna be a quick overview but this is my accessories room so where should we start so obviously the back you can see there are my shoes it's filling up it's slowly filling up um, but I have definitely much more space on this side is for all the bags which you'll notice these two cheeky ones I brought back from London. So these are coming, these two are definitely coming back to London with me. Whereas all the other bags are staying here. But like I said, I'll do a more in depth conversation. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing that one back too. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the overview. And then I have another island here. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, so we've got, that one's empty, Ooh, sunnies, I will share this though, this is my first ever pair of shoes, um, my biological mom kept them for me and gave them to me um, a couple years ago and they're probably like the most precious things that I own, <laughs> they're my first shoes ever guys. Um, then on this side I have a wall, um, I've got a tripod there, I got this um, bench made and the same kind of style pillows, I've got this little like um, cowhide thing here, is it? Is it like, I don't know. On the wall above the bench I have this gorgeous poster um, my best friend Mace got for me from, I think in Sweden he got this for me, I'm not entirely sure. But um, I love this poster, it's so cool. It's a little, it's a, I was gonna say a little girl. It's a girl with a, a lion. I've got a pink gun up here and then underneath it I have this poster that says Summer Sales. Um, quickly reached by Underground, it's like an underground poster which reminds me of London obviously, so I like that and I love it next to the yellow here. I pretty much made this bench yellow because this poster was yellow and this poster was here first. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then I have a big full length mirror here which is a little annoying because this door um, blocks it, but I don't mind at the same time because I need more storage space or as much as possible. <laughs> so yeah, this is my accessories room. Okay, now we're done with the house tour. I can't believe I almost forgot to share that. Anyway, I was gonna set you guys here. 
I hope you guys enjoy this really casual kind of house tour thing. However, the closet tour, um, I probably won't be uploading that for a while because I kind of want to combine it with um, a tour of my London closet, kind of just sharing the differences. You guys can kind of see the both sides, um, my Hanoi and my London. It's very, 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 very different. <laughs> I don't have the luxury of space in London, so it's very different. I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. I'm obsessed with my place here. I'm so lucky, I know, and I just, I'm so in love with this apartment so much. And I always miss being here when I'm in London, but I'm very grateful in London as well So yeah, I just yeah, it's a very calming place here Life in Vietnam is very different to life in London for sure I hope you guys got to know me a little bit more with like, you know, everything that you guys see in my apartment um, And my vibe more and like my interior style um, Because when I go back to London, I will be moving very soon and I will be redecorating a new place and I'm definitely gonna make it my own because the place that I'm living now I didn't really bother because I didn't know how long I was gonna stay there for and um, just wasn't bothered because it just really wasn't my style the whole like place to begin with but I'm very I'm still very grateful for having, for living in the place I live in now in London but um, it's just like it's just not my style really so I'm really excited to go back and like make my space there at home and it's gonna be very similar to to what you see here, um, but different obviously. Anyway, um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys wanna see more interior style videos, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and please hit the subscribe button if you guys wanna catch up with me again, and until next time, speak to you guys soon. Bye.